Hey, this is M from Alpha Male Secrets and used by women as a shoulder to cry on, and you never get any appreciation from anyone, much less anything in return. And unfortunately, very few beta males ever make the leap from beta male to full alpha male. Most of them have just accepted their roles in society as beta men. But I don't believe most beta men these days were actually born beta. I believe society especially recently, has played a strong role in turning men beta before they've had a chance to go alpha, thanks to years of social conditioning, emasculation, and groupthink, teaching boys at an early age that masculinity is bad and that strength is bad, shaming boys at an early age to deny their own masculinity, their own manhood, turning what would have been a normal, healthy male into a weak, apologetic beta male. Understand, being a beta male in life can literally make you sick. Not being a man, not knowing how to act like a man, not knowing, not being able to fulfill your duties as a man can literally make you sick. It can make you feel lost. It can make you feel hopeless. It can make you feel depressed. It can make you feel suicidal even when you don't accept your gift that nature has blessed you with, the gift of being born a man, the gift of masculinity, the gift of testosterone, all the things that have become taboo in society today. When you don't accept these gifts, you will literally become ill. You'll become mentally ill, physically ill, and spiritually ill. And if you don't believe me, just take a look at all of the beta males we have out there who succumb to pressure from society to play down their masculinity, to play down their male tendencies, to in fact act like beta males. In all my years of life and all the thousands of guys I've met through teaching pickup, I have yet to meet a single beta male who is mentally, physically, and spiritually healthy. I've never met a single one. Each one has experienced or is currently experiencing some form of mental illness, physical illness, or spiritual illness. But this is often what happens when you don't accept your role as a man, when you deny your own masculinity, when you allow society to put its grubby little hands on you and tell you how to act as a man. And most guys have allowed themselves to become beta males simply because it's easier to go through life without hassle than having to constantly be ostracized for acting like an alpha male because we've trained society to gasp and throw rocks at any guy who demonstrates alpha qualities. We've trained society to attack him, shame him, and guilt him into becoming what most guys are today, beta males. Beta males who are easy to control, Beta males who are easy to predict. Beta males who don't pose a threat to society. So why does society hate on alpha males so much? Why does society discourage young boys from becoming alpha males? And some of the main reasons are because alpha males can think for themselves. Because alpha males don't care what people think of them. Because alpha males don't need society, much less women telling them what to do. And most of all, because alpha males 
can't be controlled, unlike beta males. Alpha males aren't predictable like beta males. So naturally, alpha males and any man who acts alpha is immediately viewed as a threat to society, especially the emasculated society we have now. Just like the women these days who are doing all of that strong woman nonsense, competing with men, and all the rah-rah were equal to men. Just look at those women. Their lives are in chaos. Their boyfriends and husbands are constantly cheating on them. Their homes are a mess. Their kids are confused. Their lives are a mess. And they experience constant frustration and anger in life and they can't figure out how to stop it. And unfortunately, most never will. They will live out their lives being punished, being kept in the dark, and never seeing the light when all they have to do is simply live their lives according to what nature has intended for them. It's like driving your car with the wheels turned inside out. It was never meant to be driven that way. And when you attempt to drive your car that way, you will surely crash and you will cause an accident because the factory did not intend for you to drive your car with the wheels turned inside out. Or it's like wearing your shoes on opposite sides of, of your feet. If you walk around wearing your shoes on opposite sides of your feet, you will most likely trip and fall. Why? Because the factory did not intend for you to wear your shoes on opposite sides of your feet. It's common sense and you don't need to be a genius to understand this. But in today's world, apparently you do. So understand, while being a beta male sucks, and society is doing everything in its power to keep you beta, it doesn't mean that you need to stay beta. You can transform yourself at any time. It's not illegal yet, and I stress yet, you're still free to live your life as you choose. And while you still have a choice, I strongly recommend that you live it as an alpha male, as a real alpha male and not a beta male because being a beta male sucks and you'll never get what you actually want in life so long as you live your life as a beta male.